Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lamaster here and welcome to a new series of mine that I'm starting titled playing legit Now basically what this series is going to be is a commentary series where I put up an awesome legit gameplay And we just talk about different things going on within the Call of Duty community or just whatever I feel like talking about at the time Now I do want to note that this does not mean I'll slow down on glitching videos Not at all actually, but since it is finally the great season of summer and school is out I have a lot more time to make videos and I've always wanted to start a commentary series like this so we're gonna do just that and we're starting off with a pretty big topic and that is the topic of the dislikes on the infinite warfare trailer and why infinite warfare will still quite possibly be the most profitable cod to date so getting right into it with the amount of dislikes on the trailer and I won't spend a whole lot of time on this particular topic simply because it's been talked about so much already but there are a few things I would like to point out first of all is the fact that the majority of these dislikes aren't based on people's actual opinions of the game itself instead most of them are simply because disliking the infinite warfare trailer has recently become this cool trend or even a meme so to say it's becoming a joke that people are purposely partaking in just to get the video to as much dislikes as possible and when you look at the comments it's clear that this is the very reason a majority of people are disliking the trailer and it's honestly quite funny however during the first few days this trailer was out it still had a fair amount of dislikes but it was nowhere close to where it is now now, I believe the ratio was somewhere in the range of 50,000 likes to 150,000 dislikes or close to that But now after disliking the trailer suddenly became this huge trend the amount of dislikes shot up to almost 2 million now Which is absolutely crazy and honestly kind of funny But it doesn't show the community's completely accurate view of the game itself now to address the initial amount of dislikes within the first few days It's no mystery that they were caused by the futuristic setting of the game and the inclusion of the advanced movement system. However, we can't blame Infinity Ward for taking this direction with the game. Considering that Call of Duties are now made in three year cycles, we have to understand that this game began development around the time that COD Ghosts was released. Not until about a year and a half later or halfway through Advanced Warfare did people begin to show that they weren't fond of this new movement system and the futuristic setting, which I will also note is what the community wanted at the time, so it's kind of ironic how that changed. But for Infinity War, they probably were already halfway through creating infinite warfare so it was way too late to scrap what they had already made and go in a different direction however around this time is probably when they came up with the honestly quite ingenious idea of bundling infinite warfare with a remastered version of cod 4 by doing this they anticipated and sidestepped the hate for the futuristic setting that we now have seen and they ultimately saved their game not only that but this will also be the reason that infinite warfare will most likely be the best-selling cod of all time now I know that sounds absolutely crazy considering the amount of hate that Infinite Warfare is getting right now, but it actually makes a lot of sense. So to explain that, if they just sold Infinite Warfare by itself, there's no doubt that it would have struggled. However, by bundling it with COD 4 Remastered and charging $20 extra, this will add a ton of profit to their sales. No, seriously, a buttload of profit to their sales, whatever that means. But anyways, if you have some knowledge of economics, you know that there's a balance between price and demand, and that's why games have been $60 for such a long time now. So how will they be able to sell so many copies at this new price? The reason for this is because they're essentially selling selling two full games for the price of $40 each with one of those games costing them little to create simply because all they really did was spruce up some graphics and performance. Also, considering COD has such a dedicated fan base that almost always buys the next COD and also that this fan base seems to hate Infinite Warfare, a majority of these fans will spend the extra money just to get COD 4 and have something new to play that year while also being able to justify that purchase by knowing they can play Infinite Warfare as well which they will most likely do. Now, Taking this even one step further, Infinite Warfare can only improve the community's view of it. Right now, they are definitely at rock bottom in terms of positive publicity, so there's nowhere really to go but up. And I expect that they will start to win back a bunch of people when they start showing off things like multiplayer and what it specifically has to offer, since we haven't really seen much about that aspect of Infinite Warfare. So in conclusion, Infinite Warfare won't necessarily sell the most copies out of any COD, but there's a high chance that it will make the most profit simply because of of being able to justify charging an $80 price for the copy that most people will choose to buy. But anyways guys, that's going to be it for the first episode of Playing Legit. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, be sure to tell me what you think of the Infinite Warfare and COD 4 situation down in the comments. I'd love to continue the conversation with you and hear what you guys have to say. But other than that, guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm the 
Lamaser, and I will see you guys next time.